For this video, we'll be doing lesson 7-3, where we look at using the metric system. We're going to be converting between different metric units. Okay, so before we start converting, we're going to just talk about some metric units, how big they are, and um, what their representations are. So notice first that there's three... This is not a straight line, Miss Keel. There are three main sections. Three main sections. So the first section has millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. And then let's uh, put the abbreviations in. So millimeter is going to be two lowercase m's. Centimeter is going to be a lowercase c and a lowercase m. Meter is just going to be a lowercase m and kilometer is going to be a lowercase k and a lowercase m. It matters if you're doing lowercase or uppercase because some of them are going to have uh, capitals and sometimes when you use the capitals they mean other things and other uh, representations. So make sure that you're paying attention to lowercase versus capital. So a millimeter is about the thickness of a dime. A centimeter is about the width of a thumbnail. A meter is about the distance from the doorknob to the floor. So if you look at the door from the doorknob down is about a meter. And then a kilometer is a little more than half a mile. Okay, those are all units of length. So those are all units of how long something is. Okay, so we're going to have length. Then we have milliliter, which is going to be lowercase m, capital L, and liter, which is going to be capital L. A milliliter is about five drops of water, so very, very small. And then a liter is a little more than a quart of milk, so a little more than a quart size. Uh, another way to think of it is like Miss Keel's uh, hydro flask. That's a liter. Um, okay, so those are both measurements of capacity. Capacity. Okay, so how you, much you can fill something up, basically, is the capacity. All right, then we have a milligram, which is lowercase m, lowercase g, a gram, which is lowercase g, and a kilogram, which is lowercase k, lowercase g. Okay, a milligram is about the mass of a speck of sawdust. A gram is about the mass of a paperclip. And a kilogram is about the mass of your math book. So, a mass. Okay, or any of your textbooks since you don't have a math textbook. Uh, but any of your textbooks that you do have, your science textbook, any of those is about a kilogram. Half of that. Um, okay. So those are all units of mass, okay, which is similar to weight. We could get scientific and talk about how weight is different on different planets based off gravity, uh, but it is similar in, in style to weight, okay, so mass. All right, so estimating with the metric units. So let's, let's move down here. So we have choose a reasonable estimate and then explain. So it's going to ask you essentially to pick one of these units and then explain why you picked that. So, capacity of a drinking glass. Could there be 500 liters or 500 milliliters in a drinking glass? Remembering that liters are a quart of milk or a hydro flask. So, 500 liters, 500 hydro flasks making up a drinking glass, or 500 sets of five drops of water making up a drinking glass. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be 500 milliliters. And then their explanation says a drinking glass holds less than a quart of milk. So a normal size drinking glass is smaller than one liter. So 500 liters would not make sense. So 500 milliliters is the choice you would choose. Mass of a pair of hiking boots, one kilogram or one gram. So looking at these again, remember a gram is about the mass of a paperclip and a kilogram is about the mass of half of a textbook. So... I don't know anybody that has a pair of hiking boots that's the size or the mass of a paperclip. So the logical choice would be one kilogram. 
because the mass is about half the mass of your math book or a textbook. So when you're giving the explanation, you're going to give an explanation of either something else is too big or too small, or you're going to be like, it's this one because it's this amount. Okay, before we do the back side, we're going to look at your second sheet. You have a metric conversion sheet, and it looks something like this. Yours aren't color, but this is what it looks like. So notice how they have milli, centi, deci, deca, hecta, kilo. And then here it says basic unit of gram, liter, or meter. So you could have a millimeter, you could have a milligram, you could have a milliliter. So it doesn't matter the second half of the word as much as the first half of the word. The prefix tells you where you're going to start on your steps. Then looking at your arrows, it says divide by 10 for each stair you climb up or times by 10 for each stair you climb down. Another way of thinking that is a zero for each step. So add this to your, add this to your paper, a zero for each step. And then first number is a one. So you're always gonna use a one first because it's gonna be in units of 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on. And then for each step that you go up or down, you're gonna add a zero. So let's talk about what Miss Keel means by this. Oh, no, don't move. Oops. Okay, so like, let's say I have um, 400 decameters. And I want to get to centimeters. Okay, so I start at decameters right here. And I'm going to go down to centimeters. So I'm going to go down one, one, two, three steps. So I'm going down, which means I'm going to multiply. The first number is always a one. I went down three steps, so I'm going to have three zeros. So I'm going to take 400, which was the amount I started with, 400 decameters, and to turn it into centimeters, I'm timesing because I went down the stairs. The first number is always a one, and then I went down one, two, three stairs to get from deca to centi, so I have three zeros. If I do that math and I go 400 times 1,000... I get, oops, 400,000. So 400 decameters is 400,000 centimeters. All right, let's do another example where we're going the other way. Use a different color. So if I have, let's say I have 25 milli, oops, two L's milliliters and I want to go to just plain liters I start here and I'm going up one two three steps okay well let's do a different example so we don't go up three steps we already did three let's go from milliliters to deciliters okay so I'm going to go up one, two steps this time. So I went up, so I'm dividing. The first number is always a zero, and then I went up two steps, so I have two zeros. So I'm going to do 25 divided by 100, and I get 0 0.25. So 25 milliliters is really 0 0.25 dec deciliters. So you're just going to be looking at what you're starting in, what you're going to, and you're going to either be dividing if you go up, or you're going to be multiplying if you go down the stairs. And the first number is always a one, because it's always a unit of 10, 100,000, and so on. And then how many zeros is how many stair steps you do. So keeping this handy, let's look at the backside of our notes. Excuse me. So this first one, we have 7,630 or 603 milliliters, and we're trying to go from liters. So milliliters to liters. 
if you look at your stair steps and you start on milliliters, oops. Okay, so I start on milliliters and I'm trying to go up to liters. I'm gonna go up one, two, three stair steps and I'm going up, which means I'm going to divide. So on here, I would say I'm going to divide this number by one and then three zeros. Divide each side by a thousand because I'm going from milliliters to liters and I went up three steps. Up means divide, three steps means three zeros. So I'm dividing by a thousand. So 7,603 divided by a thousand gives me 7.603. So 7,603 milliliters equals 7.603 liters. So make sure in your final answer that you have those units. Okay, for the next example, we're going from meters to centimeters. Meters to centimeters. If I look at my stair steps, meters to centimeters, starting here, and I'm going down one, two stair steps from meters to centimeters. So I'm going down two steps. Down means times. Two steps means I'm gonna have one and then two zeros. So I'm multiplying by 100 on both sides. 4.57 times 100 is 457. So 4.57 meters equals 457 centimeters. Okay. All right, so the next example. In a blue whale caught in 1931 was about 2,900 centimeters long. What's its length in meters? So we're going centimeters to meters, okay? And we have, I don't like how they set this up, so we're gonna do it over here. So we have 2,900 centimeters, and we're going from centimeters to meters, centimeters to meters, centimeters, up two steps, up means divide, and we're going up two steps from centimeters to meters. So we're going up two steps, up means divide. So we're gonna divide by one and then two zeros, so 100, and we're gonna get 29. So this whale was about 29 meters long. So using the stair steps, it's not too bad. You just have to make sure you're paying attention to if you're going up or down and then count your steps correctly. All right, so let's look at the quick check. Choose a reasonable estimate and explain your choice. So this is what we did on the front page. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, give you a minute. You're gonna pause your video and do these. Make sure you have a choice and an explanation. Okay, distance between two cities, 50 millimeters or 50 kilometers. The logical choice is gonna be 50 kilometers, okay? And your reasons, they could be different. Uh, you could say, uh, you could say two cities are farther apart than 50 dimes, right? That doesn't even, doesn't even get you out of this classroom. Or you could have said um, 50 kilometers because, because that's about 25 miles, right? Because a kilometer is about half a mile. Okay, so there's lots of different versions of this you could say. So you can say why it's 50 kilometers because kilometers make sense and give a reason kilometers make sense. Or you could say why it's 50 kilometers because 50 millimeters does not make sense. So there's lots of ways you could go with that. All right, so for B, hopefully you chose 10 milliliters, the amount of liquid in an eyedropper. B 
because eyedroppers are not going to be the size of 10 hydro flasks because remember a liter is going to be about your hydro flasks so you could say because an eyedropper is not 10 hydro flasks or you could say 10 milliliters because and we could do a reason that milliliters make sense we said that milliliters were about five drops of water. So five times 10 would be 50. So because an eyedropper could be 50 drops of water. So again, you have a reason why milliliters uh, does not make, or yeah, why the opposite one doesn't make sense. So why liters doesn't make sense, or you have a reason why milliliters does make sense. So you can do either kind of an option. You don't have to have both. All right, complete each statement. So 35 milliliters to liters. Okay, so looking at your stair step from milliliters to liters, you're going to go up, right? And you're going to go up one, two, three steps. Up three steps. Which means that you are dividing by 1,000 because you're going to have 35. Your first letter or number is a one, three zeros. And that's how you're going to show your work for this. Ooh. 35 divided by 1,000 is going to give me 0 0.035. So I get 0 0.035 liters. So to show your work for this, you don't have to show the up or down however many steps unless that helps you. But you do have to show your work like this where you have the number, either multiply or divide, and then what you did for that. Okay, so go ahead and try B and C on your own, and then we'll come back together and check them. All right, so going from grams... To kilograms, you were going to go down three steps. So you should have had, wait, to go from kilograms, yeah, so kilograms to grams, they wrote this weird. You're doing kilograms to grams because it's just easier to set it up. Um, so you're going down three steps, so you're going to times it by 1,000. So you have 250 times one, two, three, for your three zeros, because that means times. So you should have gotten 250,000. And then for the other one, they wrote it backwards again, but you're going from meters to centimeters, right? Meters to centimeters. So that means that you're going down again, but you're going down two steps this time. So you're gonna have 60, or sorry, times, 60 times 100, so you get 6,000 centimeters and 60 meters. All right, the record for the highest a kite has flown is 3.8 kilometers. Find the height of the kite in meters. So you're going from kilometers to meters, 3.8 kilometers to how many meters? So go ahead and pause your video and do this one on your own, and then we'll come back and check. Okay, so for this one, you're going to go down three steps. So you should have 3.8 times the one, and then the three steps means three zeros, and that's gonna equal 3,800 meters. So 3.8 kilometers is the same as 3,800 meters for how high that kite was flying. Okay, last one. You have a recipe that requires 0 0.25 liters of milk. 0 0.25 liters. Your measuring cup is marked only in milliliters, so you're going to try and turn liters into milliliters. How many milliliters of milk do you need? So you're going 0 0.25 liters to milliliters. So pause your video and give this one a try. Okay, so you're going down... Again, three steps that time. So you're gonna have 0 0.25 
times one and then three zeros, and you get 250 milliliters as your answer. All right, that wraps up lesson 3-7, where we looked at using the metric system.